Hey, you guys ready to make babies? That's what we're doing here. <laughs> it's the baby factor. They lives all about, you know, it's, it's what we do. We live and we, we party. We have a good time. And, you know, we, we're not here to just talk about it. We just want to uh, really experience life. <laughs> about um, partying, playing some sick ass metal, and uh, having a good time. Oh, exactly what our name says, fucking living, you know, it's doing what makes you happy, you know, life is short, you gotta fucking live, and basically that's what we're doing, and that's what we're all about. Having a good time, trying to get other people to have a good time, and taking our music pretty seriously, but also trying to give people a good show. I'll take this first song. This band started as uh, the fallout of a whole bunch of different bands, and that's originally why the name was Ruins. But it kind of. Oh, I need to look more over this way. Sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah, it was kind of the fallout of a bunch of previous bands. Some guys got together, and most of those guys aren't still in the band, but that kind of works out. That's how life goes. People have babies and shit. I don't know. I joined the band when uh, they were playing a house party and uh, their singer didn't show up and my buddy texted me and he was like, dude, you should come down and sing for these guys. Their singer's kind of, you know, not working out. And that went really well. And uh, that's when I joined. There we go. Ooh, there's, there's a lot of funny band stories in this one. Uh, well, there's uh, so many of on-stage stories where, like, we just like to hurt each other and uh, throw our uh, instruments into each other, so uh, that seems pretty fun to me. I got really drunk, and well, this, and uh, I thought I was the master of guitar throwing, so we made a Guitar Throws DVD. Well, one time I uh, decided to just jump on Frank's back. You know, I usually do that, seeing as he's the six-foot-tall guy in the band or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I jumped on his back one time, and he kind of, like, shook me off. <laughs> like nothing, you know, and I just, I hit the stage and uh, this muscle in my leg just immediately like cramped up so bad I couldn't even stand up. It was our last song of the set, so I just laid on the ground for the rest of the set and <laughs> sang it and everybody thought I was fucking around, but I really, I couldn't stand up. And uh, I did a guitar throw and fucking hit Jay's light in his, in the uh, <laughs> kitchen, broke it, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Most of the just really funny stories are when we get everything going and get all these big plans and then Jay always seems to come back up and not know anything that's going on even though he did ten minutes ago <laughs> <laughs> and it always happens and it's all it's only when it's something really big and then he asks you and in between asking you he knows exactly what was going on he just remembered but I, lo I just love the look on his face every time he's like no wait what, what am I supposed to do iPhone reverts for iPhone oh it's so good isn't it yeah it's the best came out <laughs> My favorite pop star. Um uh, Michael Jackson, I guess. He's a fucking genius. That's that's pretty difficult. There's a lot of a lot of catchy pop music out there. Yeah. Justin Bieber. Woo! I'm going with Enrique, because his song's called like I Wanna Fuck You Tonight. I'm pretty sure that's the name of his single and he's like in the billboard charts, so that's that's just amazing. Something stupid. I don't know. Like I like to laugh at stuff like Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch is fucking great to laugh at, but now that he's an actual actor, it's kind of weird. Matt Sanko is a very dangerous individual. His lifestyle is rampant. To be honest with you, I don't think the word danger is really dangerous enough. He's probably the most dangerous motherfucker you ever run into. No. This, this had to come up, didn't it? Um... I'm apparently very dangerous, so much that it is my middle name, and that was started by uh, fucking Brandon. That was, you know, a, a good inside Guitar Center joke that uh, the first time I came in, long before we were ever in a band together, he, you know, me and him would joke around, and he decided that my middle name was Danger, and that now still to this day comes to my fucking mailbox, and it says Matthew Danger Cienko on it. It's a good shit. Very dangerous, though. 
I'm never drunk. Who's the clown of the band? Oh, God. That's a toss-up between Frank and Matt, but I'll have to go with Frank on this one. You know, we all have a little bit of clown in us. Probably Frank. I think Frank always makes all of us laugh. That's Jay. Jay takes a cake on that. How deep is the ocean? It's as deep as the ocean floor. It's exactly as deep as where the ocean floor is. In comparison to where the water, the top of the water is, the ocean floor, it's exactly how deep it is. <laughs> Did Jay make up these questions? <laughs> I could just see Jay like packing a bowl last night being like, <laughs> this is stupid. The ocean is pretty deep. You better learn how to fucking swim, kids. Where do you want to see they live in five years? <laughs> in your mama's bedroom. <laughs> Just playing music, having a good time, you know. But realistically, uh, on on the road, anywhere, everywhere and anywhere but here. Yeah, bye. I need beer. <laughs>